Okay, welcome back. Um, I believe I believe I'm. Yeah, I'm back live. Yes, okay. Uh, welcome back, and I'm very excited about this next uh, session that we're going to have. It's much shorter than the one that you've just experienced, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to hear uh, amazing and incredible new ideas from it as well. Um, to start us off with, actually, a very interesting topic that we haven't really touched upon just yet, but which we will touch upon in just a minute and also later on is integration. Um, and I would just like to now zoom in on a specific topic, uh, integrated water resources management. I'm sure a lot of my colleagues in the water sector are very familiar with the topic, um, but particularly now, uh, I would like to speak to uh, two people of a specific project, a specific program that is looking to help countries implementing their IWRM goals. Uh, you will see that uh, very much this will link to some of the concepts we've heard in the high-level panel, uh, especially collaborative um, problem solving. So, but without further ado, actually, I'd, I, I'd like to take some time to, to obviously speak to my very distinguished guests that I have on the line. Uh, let's ask the experts directly. So I've got with me today uh, Colin Heron, connecting from Sweden, who is the global coordinator of uh, water solutions for SDGs at the Global Water Partnership. Uh, welcome, Colin. And then we also have Gwansa Zivzivadze, who is a senior specialist at the water division of the Georgian Ministry of Environmental Protection and Agriculture. Welcome, you two. I'm delighted to have you here. Yeah. Thank you, Nicholas, uh, and to our audience for being here today. Um, and, and I'd like to build upon what was just mentioned at the high level panel just now by His Excellency King Kikwete, which is the, this challenge of integration that you mentioned. We know that governments have different objectives that they need to meet, of course. They have the SDGs, they have the Paris Agreement, they have the EU directives in this part of the world, and of course they have domestic agendas. And we know that time and resources are so limited to do so. Well, the big news is that none of those objectives will be reached unless countries manage their water resources in an integrated way. Um, and really, we see water as a cross-cutting resource, which is essential for every single aspect of human activity. Uh, and when integrated, it can facilitate the achievement of all of these objectives. Uh, so what does integration look like? Uh, that's when countries have an enabling environment for water resources management, when they have adaptive institutions and participation schemes, when they have appropriate management tools and sustainable financing. Uh, that approach is what we call Integrated Water Resources Management, or IWRM, and it is evaluated through SDG target 6.5. So to assist countries in reaching that target, uh, we at the Global Water Partnership with our partners at uh, UNEP, UNEP PHI Center and CAPNET, are operating the SDG 6 IWRM support program. And we do that in three stages. First, it's about bringing stakeholders together from different sectors, helping them to identify opportunities and challenges around water management. Second, it's about designing multi-stakeholder action plans to move ahead on those challenges. And third, it's about implementing those challenges in a way that is uh, measurable against the SDG targets in question. Um, we've supported 72 countries so far, and I'm very pleased today to be sharing the stage with one of them, uh, Georgia, and uh, we'll hear from her in a second. So back to you, Nicholas. Yes, uh, it sounds great, the, the SDG 6 IWRM support, pro support program. And like you've mentioned, out of those 72 countries, uh, we're very lucky to have one representative here. So Gwansa, without further ado, uh, I'd like to hear your opinion on uh, the program. How was it? Well, uh, thank you, Nicholas and Colleen. Um, and good afternoon, everyone. Um, well, to start with, uh, with the support we gained, um, our aim was to first um, assess um, the situation regarding water resources management in Georgia um, and then develop and implement corresponding activist activities to the challenges identified in the situation analysis. Well, in order the assessment to be comprehensive, we engaged a wide range of stakeholders coming from different sectors and different fields, since the water is a vital resource that is related to various human activities. 
the assessment was done through the um, uh, SDG um, 6.5.1 uh, uh, indicator uh, country survey instrument. Um, and one of the issues that we identified to work on uh, further was uh, the strengthening coordination among the stakeholders. Our target group was uh, local stakeholders, local municipalities, and our target was to raise their awareness and also develop their integrated thinking. In order to do so, uh, we managed to conduct various webinars on different issues, um, including waste management, uh, disaster risk reduction, climate change impact on water, and uh, gender equality. Uh, this was done to demonstrate the interconnectedness of water with other issues, and also for them to consider water as a vital resource in the planning of their future policies and activities. I would like to say that we are so grateful for the support we gained under the IWRM support program. Back to you, Nicholas. Thank you, Gvansa. Some very interesting uh, points made there. Colin, just to play devil's advocate, IWRM has been around for a while now. So what have we truly achieved and, and, and what's changed now that uh, you think we're, we're looking into a more positive future? Yes, Nicholas, it's true that IWRM has been around for some time, but what is new now is that all UN member states have committed to achieving the SDGs, and SDG target 6.5 uh, on IWRM is really the cornerstone of efforts to reach so many SDG targets. Um, everything is related to water. Uh, and this is not just something that makes sense for countries, it, it's a formal commitment that they've all made. Um, unfortunately, the world is not doing so well, and, and currently the average implementation of IWRM around the world is 54%. The target is to reach 100% by 2030. Not reaching the target, of course, will, will negatively affect not just SDG 6.5, but all of the SDG targets, the Paris Agreement, and, and given that water is the main means through which climate change affects human society. So that's why I'm calling on the audience today to commit to increasing coordination between our diverse efforts and supporting countries to uh, improve their water management strategies and to significantly ramp up the financing to support countries using water as an integrator. Thank you, Colin. To everyone watching, you've heard the invitation by Colin. Um, but just to pick up on one thing you said, uh, to reach 100% implementation by 2030, Gwansa, uh, what will it take? Is it just about the money? Um, well, that's a great question, uh, Nicholas. Uh, well, I do believe that um, financial resources is vital for the um, development and implementation of policies that create enabling environment for IWRM implementation or strengthening management instruments for the enhancement of knowledge and information on water resources. However, no, it's not just about money. Um, it is, uh, as I already mentioned, very strong coordination among the stakeholders is so crucial for the implementation of IWRM. Um, it takes holistic approach from different stakeholders to develop and implement policies that incorporate all the important issues related to water and making sure that nothing is left behind for integrated water resources management. And I think it feeds back into what we've heard before. Collaboration is really key, trying to make sure that everyone's on board and that it's not just the money that is flowing. Thank you very much, Gwansa. We, we have two and a half minutes left, so I'd just like to hear from you, maybe Colin first. What are some of your final thoughts, one, one thing that you'd really like our audience to retain? Yes, so the world needs to at least double its current rate of implementation of integrated water resources management if we are to reach the 2030 target. And doing so will have a very positive return on investment. Um, on the other hand, not doing so is likely to cost a lot more to societies in terms of lack of progress on societal, environmental and economic goals. Uh, the good news is that we don't have to invent some new technology. We just have to help countries to manage their water resources as their most strategic resource um, 
So again, I, I'd like to invite everyone to join forces to support the achievement of sustainable development through water. Now back over to you, Kvansa. Thank you, Colin. Um, well, from the activities that were implemented in Georgia under the IWRM support program, um, we were able to see that accelerating progress towards IWRM requires a high level engagement of all stakeholders whose, who are, whose work is impacted uh, or affected by water and whose work has an impact on water resources. Um, so yes, in the end, progress towards SDG 6 and other goals is all about holistic approach and integrative thinking, integrated thinking. Thank you. Perfect, thank you. Yes, it was great to have this very short chat with you, but I think we covered a lot of ground and we made the points that we wanted to make. Thank you, Colin. Thank you, Gwansa. Uh, we hope to still see you around. Make sure to connect uh, with our two speakers on the EDD platform. Uh, you will find their profiles. Uh, you will hopefully recognize them from their photos from this video. So. Do not hesitate to contact them, get in touch, and let's make sure that we reach 100% implementation by 2030. Thank you. And to continue, we've actually got a break of 10 minutes coming up. So do make sure that you, first of all, don't go anywhere because we'll be right back. Uh, it'll be over before you know it. The only possible location where you might be allowed to go to now is the coffee machine. So, we uh, are waiting for you to come back in 10 minutes and then we'll have another couple of very interesting sessions for you. Thank you very much.